find me is my name. Uh, it's, it's a, a word cross. Well, sounds unfamiliar. Well, that's what the puzzle was called when it first appeared in the newspaper a hundred years ago this week. It was in the New York World paper and was thought up as an idea to improve sales figures over the Christmas period. A few years later, the crossword appeared in the British press, and that was where the mind-melting, language-twisting, cryptic crossword was born. Well, with me is John Halpern, a man who sets cryptic crosswords and has written a book called The Centenary of the Crossword. And there are more clues on our Facebook page, BBC World uh, News. Uh, and I think we can even pull up here, hopefully, a clue. So, okay, reports from all corners of the world, uh, four letters. I got that one. So, northeast, northeast, west, south, news. Perfect. Yeah? Perfect. Okay. Oh, very good. You see, we've even, we've even <laughs> filled it in here. Uh, okay, let's, let's do the next one. Pub's motto, getting tipsy. I'm going to say that is an anagram of Pub's motto. How does he know? Because getting tipsy, muddled up, getting confused. So I've done a bit of cryptic crosswords, uh, but I'm, yeah? Yep. Okay. So okay let's what see what the answer is. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I, that would have been easier if I'd had seven, two. Uh -huh. I, okay, and let's do the last one. Two down. I looked at that and I had no idea. I had absolutely no idea. Okay, let's, we'll bring up the answer and you'll explain why. Sure. Do we have the answer? Why? Well, it's a sort of say what you see sort of clue. So, what does it say? It says H I J K L M N O H two O. Oh. Which is water. So, you're just going through <laughs> the letters of the alphabet. Now, is there a language that people learn for doing cryptic crosswords? Uh, yes, I mean, pretty much like any, any language, you just learn a few rules. Um, like what, what you saw with Tipsy. Okay, well that looks like it's it's just an anagram, because words like uh, that suggest there's something Confused, wrong. Confused, jumbled yeah. up, whatever. Well, and, yep. then, and then if you spot something like that, it's a really great way to do a crossword, because then there are usually four or five of those in a puzzle, and you can spot broken or something like that. And if you do, you think, oh, okay, maybe there is, I'm playing with seven letters, maybe there's a seven letter word that I can play with, and then I'm in. Um, I, I almost hesitate to ask this question. How does your mind work? Because I'm just going to say that you must, you must see words and think, oh, I could play with that and turn it into this and pull those three vowels out and put in those consonants. I, I know. It, 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 it is extraordinary. I mean, I, I, if I look at a pub, if I look at a menu, I, I don't see desserts. I see stress backwards. So um, <laughs> it, it's sort of, it's an affliction and it stays with you all the time. And um, you know, it starts, it starts, I mean, probably lots of people out there try to form a word from letters of the card number plate and it sort of. Yeah, so when did you start, when did you realise you had a skill for this and affinity for it? Gosh, well I, I remember um, when I was young spotting the word panther was made up of the word pant and the word her and started cutting things up and I thought well that's like, that's like knickers on the lady somehow and it sort of made me laugh when I was ten. So I sort of started um, playing, playing from there. And, and when you met your wife and you found out her name and where she was from? Well my, wife, my wife's name is, is, is Talene and um, uh, when, when she told me her name most people would have said interesting name, you know, wh where's that from? I just thought it's an anagram of entail. I didn't say that. She, she might never talk to me again, frankly. Um, so, so I asked, you know, where's it from? And she said, it's from Armenia. And I, again, most people say, oh, really interesting it's country. Tell me something about that. But I thought it's the word men inside the word aria. So it's with you forever, really. And, um, and, and when you see these words, you think, okay, that's a clue. That clue is going to be 17 across in tomorrow's crossword. So, sometimes some, someone says a particular word. I mean, Pussy Wright was discussed earlier. I mean, that's that's that's. Um, I put that in the Guardian as soon as, as, soon as I um, heard it. It sounds like a fur, there's some fur flying idea going on. Right. Um, so what was the clue? I, I, I forget now, but I you mentioned so it earlier. So fur flying or whatever. And also you can nearly get the word um, Putin out of it from some of the letters. So it sort of lends itself. You start playing with these things when you start seeing these words. And they're fun. You know, Pussy Wright sounds fun. You know, it's fun to write about. Tell me this. I, I mean, does every country have a newspaper with the cryptic crossword in it? Or is it uh, a peculiarly... British thing. Yeah, it's gen generally a British thing. It probably says something something about us, but uh, we have exported it to, to, to other countries. Um, and other countries have syndicated puzzles that are generally written from, from Britain. Um, but the best ones are, are, are written here. 
hasn't really caught on in America so much. Why? I mean, is that, is that like irony and other bits of kind of humour where we differentiate ourselves, maybe? Um, quite possibly. I haven't really been able to pin it down, but they, 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 the New York Times is into wordplay, and they do some, do have some some little games, but they're not quite as um, as evil as we might think. So I'm not quite sure why. And what makes a good clue? Well, do, do you sometimes go, oh, I'm so clever, that could do <laughs> I never got so clever. Um, but some, some words lend themselves to great clues, and if you if you spot that um, bottoms up is an anagram of pub's motto, then you think, well, I'm I'm sort of nearly there anyway. Um, so and which, it's quite fun to discuss, which, discover. Which plays an important part. I think so. If you can make someone, well, yeah, that's great. Brilliant. Listen, really lovely to have you with us. Thank, Thank you very, you much, very indeed. much indeed. I can't think of any anagrams of uh, my name. Don't forget, though, you can contact me on Twitter <laughs> at BBC John Soap. There we are. Get in touch with any anagram you like. Thank you very much.